my name is Robin Cardin and I am the owner and designer behind MyPinkStamper.com. Thank you so much for visiting my YouTube channel today. I'm so happy to have you here. Thank you for taking a little bit out of your day to spend it with me. Today I'm going to be sharing the Stampin' Ups monthly subscription box called Paper Pumpkin. Now I'm going to tell you a little bit about this. Some of you may have never heard of it. Maybe you've been my customer for a bit and you've never heard of Paper Pumpkin. I do have all of the information on my website, mypinkstamper.com. You can just click on the Paper Pumpkin button to find out more about this. This is going to be the April Paper Pumpkin box today. I'm going to open it up, show you everything that you get when you are a Paper Pumpkin subscriber. Now you're not able to get this kit if you subscribe now. You will be getting the May exclusive Paper Pumpkin kit that is designed by the co-founder and owner of our uh, company, Stampin' Up! Shelly Gardner. So it's very special. I'll throw in a little sneak peek here for you guys. And you can see uh, one of the projects that you're making in May. So that is just a little preview of that. And you can sign up. I'll have the information directly here on YouTube in the description box. Or you can sign up on my Pink Stamper on my website, mypinkstamper.com. Okay, today this is a spoiler. So if you have not opened up your April Paper Pumpkin subscription box, you might want to turn this off if you want it to be a surprise. I am going to make uh, one or two of the projects in here and kind of show you what to expect if you've always wanted to know more about Paper Pumpkin or you absolutely still have no idea of what it is. This is going to give you a little bit of uh, a, a, a preview, an idea. It's also great if you are, if maybe you've been watching my channel or visiting my website for a bit and want, have watched some of my card making tutorials and you haven't started yet, this is a great way to jump right in. You get everything you need in this box. And the first time you subscribe, Stampin' Up! sends you a free acrylic block that goes with the stamp. So there's an exclusive stamp set each month all of the materials you need. Sometimes you just need the adhesive and that's it. They have everything else um, in here for you. So let's go ahead and jump right in and check out the April subscription to Paper Pumpkin. Okay, here is our April Paper Pumpkin box. I'm just gonna open this up and I'm so excited. I've seen some sneak peeks of this April month, uh, but I have tried to look away because I wanted to be surprised the first time. So I'm so excited. I love floral stamps and I love our new distinctive line. And that's really cool that we get to do the distinctive stamps in our paper pumpkin kit. This is the a little preview of our next month's kit. So if you sign up on my website, on my paper pumpkin link by May 10th, you will get this. And I'm really excited to get her exclusive kit she has some wonderful and i think it's like they said vintage ish um inspired by shelly we'll see tomorrow look at this april look at how nice and big this stamp set is this is amazing i love this flower i'm so excited okay so we have this that comes with it we get gray granite and i'll go ahead and just take my scissors right now and I just, I just very carefully, don't cut yourself, be very careful, okay? So we have a gray granite, and these are nice to save up. I prefer having the big stamp pads for my regular paper crafting, but if you're just getting started, this is wonderful. And if you're traveling or for your kids, this is great as well. Okay, so I'm gonna open this up. It always comes in this fun tissue paper, and you get this box that you can keep and you can decorate store cards in and they stack up nicely so don't forget to reuse your your box if possible okay so this is they come nice nice and organized and looks like we we have some enamel dots in there we have some twine these little things are used for adhesive and then you also have dimensionals so i'm just going to use my regular adhesive instead of using theirs unless it's a small um, item that I need to, but if you don't have any adhesive yet, this is great. Okay, oh, I'm so, this is so beautiful. Oh, and I'll be happy to have some cards ready to go. So this looks like 
we're gonna open up. I'm gonna show you where we can find all of the information. So on the very bottom, we have this here. And this shows you what you are making in the kit. So you're making a card box. There's an acetate box in here. And this is a belly band for around the box right here. And we're decorating that. And we're also making these cards. And if you open this up, it has all of the directions. It tells you step one, what you're going to do. Step two, step three, step four, step five, all the way to step six. So you can finish these cards off. And then on the back, it tells you everything that's included. And it tells you how to stamp if you're not familiar with stamping or stamping up yet. It shows you how to do that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and follow the instructions with you guys. The very first thing, it says stamp labels, stamp card panels. So let's go ahead and stamp our labels. Okay, I have everything kind of spread out and ready, and I'll show you how I have it all set up. I have the different cards. I went ahead and looked at the samples, and I put the card fronts with the backgrounds, with the envelopes, with the bases. I had those all separated. Now the first thing it's having us do is do our stamping. Now what I wanna point out with the stamp sets is especially this one, they're giving us extra. So one of the cards, it's a happy birthday, but I'm gonna change one, them to happy Mother's Day, at least two of them to happy Mother's Day and one to happy birthday because Mother's Day is coming up. It'll be so nice to have these cards already ready for my mother and my mother-in-law. And then you can just switch them out. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with our gray granite and I am going to do that one happy birthday and then I'll do the two. I might speed some of this up. I'm just going to make one of each of the card designs for you. This might be a little bit longer of a video, but that's okay, it's worth it because you can do it with me if you haven't done your paper pumpkin yet. Okay, we're doing a happy birthday and then I'm gonna do two of the Mother's Day. Now, if you noticed, if you're new, you can just turn it upside down and use the Stampin' Spot. So don't worry, and don't be afraid to make mistakes. It's okay, there's really not a lot of mistakes with stamping, you know? It's homemade, it's okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. If we wanted it perfect, we probably would have bought it at the store, and then it wouldn't have been as special, right? Okay, so I'm just going to do that, and then I'm gonna do my one thank you right here. Why did I close that? I don't know. I'm going to do thank you, where is my thank you? Can I not use, I did not pull my thank you off. Okay, here's my thank you. I'm gonna pull the thank you off. I'm trying to make this one go a little faster. So this video is not so long. All of my last three videos have been super long. It's not going to be a trend, I promise. Or maybe just sit back and have me going on in your background. <laughs> Grab some snacks, get your crafts ready to stamp and create yourself. Okay, so I'm gonna do, I use thank you cards a lot. So these will be great for my customers and for my friends. One of my neighbors brought over um, a blanket for my husband. My husband's birthday was on Saturday, so she crocheted around a fleece blanket, and so one of these cards will go to her. Okay, so I have my thank yous, and then I'm gonna do best wishes. Do I have my best wishes? This is the best wishes, and that goes on this card. So I'll go ahead and stamp these all up, even though I'm only going to do one of each design. Look at how well this stamps up. So pull out those paper pumpkin boxes. Maybe you've been a subscriber for a while and they're just stacking up. Pull them out, take them with you on a trip. Everything is included that you need. Just remember if it's to bring your block if it's not your first time signing up. All right, and then the last one, this one's going to go, and they give us extra ones in case you do, maybe you do a little bit mess up. That's okay, they give you extras. There's always, there's always a little bit extra. So we're gonna do the for you on this one. This is a nice little, if you don't wanna give these cards away individually, you can give them away as a group. Okay, so we're gonna stamp that. The next thing we're going to do is I'm going to grab a piece of our background paper. This is our Stampin' Grid paper. I'm gonna get everything all organized. Pull out my Stampin' Grid paper and I'm going to be stamping one I'm stamping this one right here, and this is just beautiful by itself. I love it so much. So we are going to be stamping the leaf. So it already has the flowers. So we're going to stamp the gray granite, which is just a really nice color. We're gonna stamp it right in here. 
Look how pretty that is. And we're going to stamp one right in here. Okay? And if you want to stamp one up there, you can. It's totally up to you. And then I'm going to take the enamel dots next. If you want to do all your stamping at once, you can, like I said in the beginning, but I'm going to show you step by step each one. I'm going to pull out these dimensionals, and these are little adhesive dots that you can use if you don't want to use, uh, or if you don't have anything else to use. I'm using our snail adhesive for that. Okay, so we are going to put some of these beautiful enamel dots. Some of the best accessories that we have and embellishments are in the paper pumpkin kit. And I'm not kidding, they are just amazing. They're, they're just, they try to make it super special for everybody. Okay, let's put this card together. Grab your card base, which is this one right here. Oh, I don't need the background yet. And I'm gonna fold this over. You can use our bone folder if you have one handy or you can just fold it in half. Okay, and now we are going to take the background for this, which is this corrugated paper, which is just beautiful. And this is going to go like this. So I'm going to add my adhesive on the back, or you can add those dots. And I don't know if you can see it very well being on my white background. Okay, now we're gonna take this twine here and we're just gonna pull it around. And you have plenty here to work with. I'm gonna do a little snip snip of that. And this is how I do my twine because it's so, it's just small. It's just like working with thread or, it's not that small, right, it's thread. I like to do a double knot first. So I hold it down and then I pull it through. Anyone can do this. Also, this is a great activity if you're looking for something for your kids to keep your kids busy this summer. Paper pumpkin is perfect for them. Gives them something to do, keeps them busy for a couple hours, and then they have some beautiful projects to give to their neighbors, their family and friends. Maybe they have a lemonade stand. They could have some of their little cards displayed. Okay, so that wasn't the best, but my best bow, but that's okay. Now we are going to take the happy birthday or happy Mother's Day, whichever you guys one you guys are using. Punch that out. And we're gonna put the dimensionals on the top of this. I'm just gonna use two. I love Stampin' Dimensionals so much. I just realized that my garbage is not right below me and I've been throwing everything on the floor. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have quite a mess to clean up. Okay, so now let's go ahead and add this to the base of our card. And we have one card done here. It's just breathtaking. It's so pretty. It's so gorgeous. And this was just part of the one, the monthly paper pumpkin kit. So now you can kind of get an idea of the quality of product you're getting. And my favorite part is this matching envelope that coordinates. Look at that. Okay. So let's move on to card number two. I'm going to set that one aside and then I'm going to show you card number two that I kind of pushed way out of my way is this one right here. And we're actually stamping off of it, so that's why this one I will need my background paper. We're using the flower, and this one has some watercolor splots on here. We're going to be stamping on top of this one right here, so it actually looks like it's colored. It's really brilliant that whoever designed this kit did a really good job. Just wonderful, I love this flower so much. And I'm just going to have it kind of stamp off just a little bit, just like that. And then we're gonna take the leaf and I'm going to do the same thing that we did on the other one. I'm just gonna have the leaf up here. Isn't that so pretty? All right, and there's that one. And let me set, I'm gonna set that aside and let me pull out this one is very, oh, I love the envelope. Look at the envelope. Okay, I'm gonna pull this here. I just realized I have to leave for my son's um, tennis match in a second. So that's what's great about Paper Pumpkin. I can just take this with me and finish up 
the other projects that I didn't get to today. All right, this one we're using the thank you. So I'm gonna grab a thank you. And then we're using some of these corrugated tags that come on a strip like this. Let me grab one of these. And this one is going to go this way. So let me put a little bit of adhesive on the top of this and on the bottom of this, <laughs> oops. I looked at it wrong. Okay, so that's on that. And then all we're doing is adding this on top of this. Let me fold this over and we're gonna go ahead and add this on. So you could have it go flush to the end on the right or you could mix it up a little bit and have it go in a little bit. I like it going in. I mean, whatever, I like both of them actually. I'll do this one the way it is in the picture. So if you are a little bit new, you will be able to follow along. Okay, so this one goes like that. And then we just have this twine around here again. And the twine is going to go this way. And we're gonna make another little bow, one of my awkward ones, for sure. For sure, one of my awkward ones, you know. They turn out just fine, <laughs> just while I'm doing them. Okay, let's speed this up. Okay, got my little twine bow and I'm threw it on the ground again, Robin. Okay, let's grab our dimensionals and then we're also going to be using some of the enamel dots. So this one I'm gonna use four. You should have enough or I'll just do, I'm gonna do four. I like to use these all up. Okay throw this on this pile, not on my floor. And this one goes right here. And look at how gorgeous that is. So now you have a thank you card and the best part is the coordinating envelope right here. Envelope that coordinates. Look at how perfect that is. Okay, oh my goodness. Okay, two are done. Let's do the last one. And so I hope this is helpful to some of you that are newer with Paper Pumpkin, or if not, if you're just one of my viewers and you're just enjoying doing this with me, I hope you are pulling out your Paper Pumpkin and we're, having, we're doing this together. Okay, this one we're gonna turn this way. And we're gonna take our beautiful distinctive flower again. We're gonna ink this up, ink it up. So a big stamp like this with a little ink pad, just keep it on its back. And then we're going to stamp this right in here in the corner. A little bit, bit of it's gonna go off the side. And that's totally how we want it. And then we're going to ink up the leaves. And there we go. I'm gonna put this in here. Okay, and we just need to do the box in just a minute. Okay, this one we are, oh, I forgot to put the enamel dots on the other one. Let's do that really quick. Pull out this one. And we're gonna grab some of these enamel dots and they are just gorgeous. Look at that, add it down here. I'm kind of doing them exactly like the picture, but of course you can always change them up. There we go. Okay, there, yes, yay. All right, now I have this one here and we're going to be using the corrugated again, but now we're using just the straight piece like this. And we're going to take the best wishes. So let's grab your best wishes. And I'm going to just put adhesive on the on it. And I'm going to have that hanging off the bottom like that. And this one we're just adding directly on here. So let's add our, I'm trying to go a little bit fast. So if you need to slow it down, you can. There's actually a, I think there's a way you can, when you're watching this, you can slow it down or you can speed it up. You want me to go faster? Say, go faster, Robin. Then I can. All right. This one is going to go over here. And then we're also going to add some of these beautiful enamel dots on here. Just have them wherever you want them to go. I'm just kind of doing them all over. Okay. 
Now we'll go ahead and have the back. There's no twine on this one. We'll fold this in half. So pretty. And this one goes like this, and it's up in the right top corner. And it's, they have it flush up here. Just a really fun card. Anyone can do this. Maybe you're trying to, you want one of your friends or your neighbors to start stamping with you, but they're really overwhelmed. This is a really good, Paper Pumpkin is a really good subscription to start them out with. Okay, so we have all of the card designs done. They are all ready to go. Now we're just gonna do this box here. And this is ready right here. These just punch out, how convenient. And you punch out and throw that, not on my floor. And then this, you peel this off. This is actually a protective cover. Peel this off and then we can put this together. So I've peeled the protective cover off. I'm gonna go ahead and just open this up here. I love these boxes. This one is a little bit bigger than the ones we carry in our catalog. So this is a fun acetate box. You can fit all six cards and envelopes in here. Just try to get that close. Okay, now I'm gonna take this piece here and this already has adhesive on it. Is that not so wonderful? It's already scored for us. So just fold it, put it on here, and we are just going to take off this label or this backing for the adhesive. And we have this nice belly band on here. This is such an easy project to do and it's so wonderful. Now we have this here and this here. So I'm just going to take some adhesive or you can use those little dots. And I'm going to add, well, just, I don't know why I did so many on this side. I just need one on each side. So we'll do one over here and kind of one down here. Oh, I, do, I do have one down there. Okay, so I have the flower here and then we're gonna add this on here, but we're gonna add our twine around. We're gonna add it a couple times. So this is what I'm gonna do. This is, I'm just using tape. So you can use adhesive or put it down with one of the dots. I'm just gonna tape it a little bit and I'm gonna wrap this around a couple times and I'm gonna tape that again. So we're not gonna see it, it's gonna be covered up by the big flower. Cut that off. And we're going to take the dimensionals and add them on here. But what I'm going to do is, where is my sentiment? We did the for you right here. That's going to go through. Or what we can do also is you can just have it kind of, which I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna have it just coming out right here for you, for you. And then I'm gonna turn this over, put dimensionals all over the place. You could even add some more enamel dots if you want. And I'm just gonna secure these by putting a dimensional over them like that. And now we will have the box finished and you can do another bow if you want. They have a picture of the bow, of it with a bow on the thing. So now we have on the, on this, on the thing. That was so descriptive, Robin. I know, right? So now we have our card box. You have a nice gift for someone or you can just store them in here and pull them out and look at them longing or regularly, not longingly, because you've already made them. So we've made all of these and you get to make two more of each. So it's a total of three, six, nine cards. So nine cards fit in here, not six, Robin. So, okay, well, thank you so much. Here's the paper pumpkin and all the information is in the description. Thank you for taking time out of your day. If you're not a subscriber yet and you'd like to subscribe to this channel, I would love to have you. If you click the little notification bell, you'll be notified when I have a brand new video tutorial for you. And if you had a great time with me today, please give me a thumbs up. I hope you have a wonderful day. See you soon, bye-bye.